What's going on, Wolfpack? My name is Generic Wolf, and welcome to some more Bosnian Reacts to uh, Geography Now, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Why can't we just call it the Congo? Oh wait, we can't, because there's another Congo. Oh uh, man, who, who, what genius thought of that? Uh, ooh, I bet it was some Belgian genius. Wink, wink, we'll get into that later. I bet Paul, Paul will uh, mention it. He might not, because that's a pretty sensitive issue. But basically, uh, the Belgians be crazy when it comes to the Congo. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. But um, what else do I know about this place? Uh, it is, unfortunately... Well, for them, unfortunately, uh, probably the most impoverished place in the world. Probably the... Yeah. The most impoverished country in the world. So, um... There's that, but uh, hey, there's uh, some good news for them, I guess. Uh, they have the largest penis size in the world. That's a, that's, that's a statistic you all needed to know. I should know because I watched a lot of uh, Congolese poor... Let's just get right into the video. Okay, now. Hey, well, Jagger peeps. Okay, let's take oh, a poll. My left Who here is here. old enough to remember when this country was named Zaire? Yeah? All I right, actually remember. 90s kids. Ah, yeah! I feel so old. Is this just me or is it just like right in my, it's like in my left Ow! ear? Everybody, we've reached our first set of twin countries, oh, yeah. the Congo, and you're in for a real treat because these two African states may seem very similar, but there's a strange story that kind of sets them apart. But first, the only thing that sets them apart is the Congo River. Oh, by the way, the Congo River is. Oh no, I should have posed for this one. Sky blue field with a yellow star in the left hoist side and cut diagonally by mm -hmm. a red stripe with a thin yellow oh. frame. The star symbolizes the radiant future of the country. The blue Far represents future. peace. The yellow frame for the wealth, and the red stands for. <laughs> These keep getting more weird. Is that Pickle Rick? Look, I'm just going to no. say, it's interesting that they claim a radiant future with peace and wealth because, yeah, let's just move along. Yeah, he knows as well, man. My God, this is so discreet now, in my ears. Now, whether you're reading some Michael Crichton or some Tintin comics, the Congo Excuse has me. been romanticized and embellished in the pages of classical literature Can't for hear. centuries. Whenever you hear somebody referring to the Congo, they're most likely referring to the DRC. Even when you type in Congo on Google Maps and Google Earth, it just defaults to the DRC. Um, uh, hey, uh... Don't I, uh, get a no. Shh, 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 shh. no, no, you don't. The DRC is a large country located in the Central African area, bordered by nine other countries, and is the second largest country in Africa after Algeria, and the largest in Sub-Saharan Africa. The country has ten provinces and the city province of Kinshasa, even mm -hmm. though the constitution mandates that there are like twenty-six provinces, but they haven't really gotten around to that. Capital Kinshasa <laughs> is right Too lazy. across the mighty Congo River from Brazzaville. Well, that's capital, cool, but the. With Hopefully one day, uh, yeah, by the way, Brazzaville is just... <laughs> Brazzaville kind of sounds like Brazzerville, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's not get into that, but uh, this, this is an educational channel, goddammit. I hope, kind of, no, not really. <laughs> but uh, I like what they have going on there with the, you know, city right around, like, the, the river like that. It's going to look like kind of like a giant butthole. <laughs> educational, educational, damn it. But uh, yeah, that's probably going to be something cool one day, I bet. Also, this is the deepest river in the world, with, which I believe is like 300 meters deep at some point. So you can have freaking a, a submarine go through it, for fuck's sake. It's, it's that deep. Well, not as deep as... Uh... Damn it. I should have thought of something cool there, but goddamn it, I blacked out. <laughs> Making the two Whatever. cities the world's closest Whatever. capitals. Kinshasa is a huge city with millions of people and a weird 25 foot tall statue of the former leader Kabila that was constructed by North Koreans and has a suspiciously Kim Jong il type of body. Side note North Korea has a weird industry of manufacturing and exporting dictator statues. Unfortunately, there are no bridges that connect hmm. the two cities, so in I'll order keep to that cross, in mind in case I want one. A ferry, which can be incredibly crowded and sketchy. Some tourists that visit Brazzaville go so sketchy. far as to charter flights that go to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and then to Kinshasa to avoid the hassle. Even though the distance is literally less than seven kilometers or four miles apart when you look at the drc borders you'll <laughs> notice that the, bridge. the further west you go oh, yeah, the land kind of funnels into this incredibly narrow panhandle known as the bakongo province this area just barely touches the atlantic ocean with a 32 kilometer well, wide coast can, in the town but... of muanda that extends all the way to the seaport of banana Poor. that's right they named the seaport banana however don't let banana fool you most cargo ships and freight vessels do not stop over here and in order to receive bulk shipments all 
cargo must travel up the Congo River to the ports on either Boma or Mitadi. Mitadi being the bigger one since they have a direct train line and highway that goes straight to Kinshasa. These two small ports are the main mm -hmm. lifeline of the DRC's international trade sector. Speaking of which, only about 2% of the roads are paved and due to the terrain of the Congo Basin, building roads and 2%. railways has always been a little difficult. Water transport has always been the dominant means of moving around as nearly two-thirds of the entire country is navigable by rivers and creeks. In the south of Good the for them. Katanga province, you have the Congo Pedicle or the Katanga Boot, another narrow corridor that protrudes into Zambia, almost cutting it in half. The reason why this happened all had to do with the Belgian King Leopold II and the Berlin Conference. Basically, he claimed the borders to ride along the Luapula River and the watershed between the Zambezi and Congo to be the southernmost borders of the country. But the whole thing was still a little hazy and unclear, so he invited the King of Italy to draw a straight line and then end it all, which the Africans had absolutely no consultation in. In fact, the reason why the country's domain is so big is mostly because King Leopold somehow ended up convincing the summit to allot him the entire area, widely unexplored and in return, making it a free state with open trade policies and no direct sovereign allegiance, but rather as his own personally controlled state. Basically, the entire country became his own twisted, messed up African playground. And that's where things got really messy. We'll talk yeah. about it in the demographics, but first, we have to discuss the... When I mentioned Belgians, I really meant that king is the now, crazy guy. What we understand is that the DRC is one of, if not probably the world's most resource-rich, economically sound, untapped, Paul. and mismanaged country in the world. The country has everything, and yet so much is not and nothing. being done. First of all, Sounds the like country Bosnia. is generally divided into five physical regions, the western region, the Congo, hang out Basin, sometime, the Congo. region, the Kasai, and the Katanga. The western region is Watanga. lush with Wakanda. deep vegetation and croplands. Most Congolese are subsistence Watanga. farmers that survive off of what they can grow in the soil-rich area over here. Fishing is huge out here, too. Mm. Fish is the most popular source of protein for the average person in this area. Area, since the Congo River provides a variety of tropical species that are cooked in dishes like one of the most favorite dishes in the area Makobe which is wrapped in cassava or banana leaf and roasted with spice. <laughs> oh no I think I may have incited something uh I think I'm gonna go out for some Thai for lunch Thai oh that is so 2009 basic I prefer this fufu and maboke place you probably never heard of it it's around the, uh, this tool shed behind an alley. You have to climb through the dumpster to get into the restaurant. The Congo Basin is where you... Yeah, all we have in Bosnia are like Bregjinice, Chvabjinice. <laughs> well, for those who are in Bosnia, you probably won't know what I'm talking about, or Serbian or Croatian, I guess. But uh, that's basically all we got. I, I've never seen like a... Well, there, I think there was an Indian place, but I passed right on by it. Uh, instead of going into the Indian place, I went into the Bregjinice to get a Burek instead <laughs> of uh, Indian food, which is probably going to give me diarrhea anyway. But... We have no, no like freaking Mexican food, no Japanese food. Come on, I want to see. I want to see some of that in my in my country. And I'll go there occasionally. I don't know. I guess when they run out of budek, I guess I'll, I'll I'll go to the Japanese place or the Chinese place or whatever. But. For the time being, I don't have much options when it comes to restaurants. And whatnot. You'll find the world's second largest okay, rainforest after the too Amazon, personal, the I guess. Congo Rainforest. This place is loaded and heavily packed with incredibly large amounts of plants and wildlife, including some of the For rarest now. primates on Earth, like bonobos and the lowland gorillas. Many species are endemic to the area, like mm -hmm. the curiously looking okapi. This is also the area that has the largest amount of rain in the entire country, with an average of over 120 centimeters. And the DRC is also known for having the highest That's a lot of centimeters. thunderstorms out of any other country on the planet. The Kivu region is known as the lake and volcano region as it sits on many of the major lakes like Lake Kivu and Tanganyika. And two of the most active volcanoes in Africa, Mount Nyiragongo and Mount Nyamuragira, which make up about 40% of all documented African volcanic activity alone. Mount Nyiragongo them, alone has I the guess. world's largest lava lake nestled inside of the crater. Yeah, that is not a lake you want to jump in. It's also home to the tallest mountain in the country, Mount Wasn't Stanley, considering that it. straddles the border with Uganda and the third highest peak in Africa after Kilimanjaro and Kenya. Then we reach the Kasai and Katanga regions. These areas are Kenya. slightly drier yet That's still humid and lush with plants and rivers. However, they are most widely known for being the mining and mineral extracting regions of the country. Kasai known for their diamonds exploitation and region now, slavery let me just how much potential probably. is found in the DRC. It's estimated that the entire country holds about 25 trillion dollars worth of untapped minerals and ores. That's about the same amount as the GDP of the US and Europe combined. No joke. The DRC has the world's largest deposit of coltan or a natural That's going to be exploited 60 percent of the entire world's cobalt stock. people are going to get rich slow and cautious on how it goes about extracting these resources For, usually the not the people unfortunately with both domestic and international looting from agents on both sides uh, there it is. Say the industry <laughs> although still booming is relatively underdeveloped compared to what it could be in a weird counteractive way though it also ah, is kind beautiful. of good because it kind of preserves the forests and wildlife which is already threatened enough as it is overall if you look at the satellite images of the country you can tell that there's a ton of green the country may have over 70 million people yeah. but overall 
overall, there's still a lot of land that hasn't even been exploited or destroyed yet. It isn't necessarily because... I just want to go there and sing uh, Toto Africa. It has to do with administration or lack thereof. Mm -hmm. Let's explain. It. Politics. We all we all know and love it. Sarcasm. All right, fun little quick side note. People typically distinguish if they're uh, the DRC the one with the larger dick. The capitals <laughs> with the that's the Congo Zion. <laughs> from Kinshasa for the DRC and Congo Braza for the RC. Brazers. Now you know. So in general, the DRC is a huge Brazers? country with lots of know. different types of people groups. Let's just jump into it. The country has about 80 Not that I know how to pronounce it. It's the fourth most populous country in Africa million. and one of the oh, fastest growing. Big. Now when it comes to ethnic distinction, the line is a little hazy because there are over 250 tribes and people groups. However, in general, about 80% of the country is made up of Bantu peoples. These mm -hmm. all classify under the Bantu parent group and the largest them. ones being the Mongo, the Luba, the Mangbetu Azande, and the Bakongo. The rest are non-Bantu groups Kongo. like the Gilima, Mono, <laughs> you read that wrong. Kamawa, and so on. There's also a small percentage of pygmies that make up about 1% of the population Those and barely 1% are whites, mostly people. Belgian and French Europeans. With all these people groups and dialects, you would think that communication think. would be difficult. However, fortunately, almost everybody in the country speaks French as an intercessory language, making the DRC the largest francophone nation in the world, even more than France itself. Mm. Yes, I know the Belgians took over, and yes, they did to institute both Dutch and French as national languages, but it was a lost cause, and French just kind of took over. Why won't anybody learn Dutch? Because every time we start weird. to learn Dutch, do you respond back in English? In addition, the DRC has four other <laughs> official languages, Lingala, True. Swahili, Chiluba, and Kikongo. These languages are spoken in distinct regions. Lingala, the most commonly spoken language, can be found in the capital, Kinshasa, as well as pretty much all of the areas that flow along the Congo River to the north and northeast. Kikongo is spoken in the west all the way through the panhandle that goes to the coast. Chiluba is spoken mostly in the middle regions of the country, and Swahili is spoken all along the east and southeast parts of the country. In terms of statistics, the DRC is pretty underdeveloped and economically disadvantaged. Typically, the country ranks within the bottom 10 countries with the mm -hmm. lowest GDP index scores. Only a little over 10% of the country even has access to electricity and running water. On top of that, the country is scattered with thousands of small tribal villages not even documented or even charted on maps. See how many you can find on Google Earth. Make it into a game. Yes! Uh, three degrees latitude, 24 degrees longitude. Uh. Also, due to the fact that the DRC was a Fun game you guys play. that were dispersed around the world during the Atlantic and Arab slave trade years, it's highly contested that many modern dances and music styles across the world can be stemmed from this very region since the slaves incorporated their traditional styles while performing. Calypso, jazz, reggae, rumba, merengue, and so many more all have roots possibly from Africa. Many speculate from the Congo area as well. Now we have to get a little controversial. Now, I'm not going to give you the whole story. I'll let John Green do that in this video right here. He does a great job. By the way, John, if you're ever free, let's hang out some time waffles are on me in a nutshell yeah he finished that series a long up, and the exact time numbers ago <laughs> are hard to calculate but it's speculated that during the reign of terror of king leopold about half of the entire country's population of 20 million were killed furthermore almost immediately after yeah. independence things got messed up again and regimes fought and mobutu took over and renamed the country zaire then mm -hmm. when he died more rumble in the jungle <laughs> Congo wars erupted sometimes referred to as the african world war sucking in every neighbor nation around them and nearly five and a half million people died making it the most deadly conflict after World War II. Wow, really? My textbook doesn't say anything about that. That's because your school, like many others in the Western world, does mm -hmm. not care about Africa, and it's shut! On top of that, internal conflict was bad enough. Mine doesn't even care about Bosnia. Katanga that much. had a short secessionist movement, and for a brief three years, Katanga even became a breakaway state back in the 60s. Then another group attempted in 2013 called Mai Mai Bakata Seriously, it would have been better if you guys just named yourselves. But no. You had to go with But that is uh, what he just mentioned was I believe a village in Wales which has like the longest name in the world. He, he could pronounce that, but he couldn't pronounce. Hang on, let me pronounce that. Uh, hang on, my my bakata katanga. It actually sounds pretty cool. My my bakata katanga. 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 See, I can do it five times fast. <laughs> you can do it, Paul. Oh, oops. We skipped a little. You can do it. All this into perspective, you can probably see why the DRC hosts the world's largest UN peacekeeping missions. Speaking of diplomacy, yeah, it was a giant line of UN. Where they actually did now, something you for once. I think that the DRC's relations are pretty complex, but if you look at the big picture, it all kind of makes sense. First of all, it's no surprise, but the DRC does get along with pretty Bonjour. much most Francophone countries. Even though the bien. Belgians did leave a sour taste, they did kind of help unite the DRC with half of the entire continent through linguistic coherence. When it comes to Rwanda, it all kind of went down like I don't this. know if oh, that's... I'll come here to Rwanda, I'll totally help you out with the crisis. 
I'll kill you, scum. <laughs> yeah. Used the eastern side of the DRC for refugee camps during the Rwandan genocide, but also as a militia base for insurgent forces that would eventually invade the country. When it comes to Belgium, it's a little weird because trust no one. Don't what did I tell them, you? They still have privileged and don't lose wars. With them as well, with embassies in each country and regular flights between Kinshasa and Brussels. Of course, because of all the minerals, major world powers have been jumping on the Congo for decades. China, Russia, and the U.S. have all given their shot at coaxing the Congolese <laughs> for investment opportunities. Cameroon and Gabon are good friends to the west and Kenya and Africa's favorite uncle Tanzania I'm not Cameroon to the east, <laughs> he, he put Comoros friends, instead of Cameroon they would probably have to go back to their twin and say the Republic of Congo the two Congos are really the best friends and identify with each other closer than any other country why don't they the just world. become there one country there is a reason why they never decided to become one single Congo <laughs> country though <laughs> if I wait that one second in the next episode in conclusion oh. the Congolese you're gonna leave us on a DRC cliffhanger both the richest yet poorest country on the earth there's so Sounds much like Bosnia. <laughs> but until things get straightened out we'll just have to see what happens Stay Stay tuned, the Republic of Congo is coming up next. Okay, sounds like fun. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys learned something new. I know I definitely did. So, anyway, if you're new to this channel, why don't you go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button. And uh, I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.